The government has been told it needs to do more to ensure new welfare assessments for the disabled are managed fairly. The Work and Pensions Committee of MPs says some of the planned reforms to the disability living allowance could mean people lose out on the money they rely on to meet their needs. Our political correspondent Naomi Grimley reports. If you run your hand down the front of your legs, Face-to-face -face assessments already form part of the benefit system, in this case to find out if a person is fit for work. They're controversial and, in many cases, individuals dispute their findings. But the government wants to see more use of assessments as part of its overhaul of disability living allowance, which helps meet the living costs of the disabled. The new allowance will be called Personal Independence Payment, or PIP, it will be determined by face-to-face -face assessments, which by the government's own calculations should produce savings of 20%. MPs, though, on the Work and Pensions Committee in the House of Commons have some concerns. They tell ministers the new assessment needs to be empathetic and avoid box-ticking. They also warn that assessments are still too reliant on the medical model of disability and may fail to take account of other factors, such as access to public transport. The committee acknowledges that the current system does need reform, but it wants the government to make sure the new PIP assessments have been rigorously piloted before they're rolled out nationally. Naomi Grimley, BBC News, Westminster. Well, let's talk more about this with our political correspondent, Louise Stewart, here with us now. Using that phrase, ticking boxes, amongst their criticisms, I mean, then that is quite literally what this process does, isn't it? It's a point scoring system. It is. You get points on how you're assessed during this medical assessment, and if you reach a certain level, then you would be deemed fit to work or perhaps have your benefits cut if you're not working. Um, that's one of the concerns that's been raised by the um, chair of this committee, Dayman Begg, you'll be speaking to shortly. They're concerned that it's just too rigid, if you like, and perhaps doesn't take into account other factors about, you know, people with disabilities perhaps need to spend more on transport because they can't access public transport or even things like wheelchair maintenance, things we may not consider. So there's a real concern that this is too arbitrary, it is ticking boxes, and that if you you may be deemed fit to work or, or fit to not receive all the benefits you have been, but that's too arbitrary. But the government says that you know the old disability allowance is outdated. They say looking at this system will save them 20%, and that's the concern, I think. You know, it's saving money, but will people be unfairly penalised? And that's why the committee is calling for this to be... Uh, brought in on a pilot system to see how the assessment works before it's rolled out across the country. Okay, Louise, for the moment, thank you very much. Just a reminder for you as well, in a few minutes' time, we'll be finding out more about those concerns. We'll be speaking to its chair, Dame Anne Begg. That's in a couple of minutes' time.